Fort Worth, Texas. I was born to put the ball in the basket. My best skill, my left hand. If you leave me a few inches, I can and will punish you. When the moment is hot, I have absolutely no fear. Hello, EuroLeague fans. My name is Keith Langford, and I play guard for EA7 Emporio Milan. After a three-week absence, the surprise package of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague has re-embraced its star. Keith Langford is ready for the final sprint with EA7 Emporio Armani Milan. Being injured is more busy than actually being than practicing, you know, so I, I hate it. If I was to give you a typical day, there was pool in the morning, uh, then after the pool it was exercises and therapy, uh, go home for lunch, come back to practice, therapy again, exercises again, and then sit downs in the chair shooting the basketball. So, I mean, you know, just trying to stay busy, trying to stay active and still not lose my feel for the ball. Milan's EuroLeague season has been wonderful up until now. In the playoffs, they will challenge Keith's former team, Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv. The city will host the Final Four in May, and to reach them would be an amazing achievement. It is a dream, for, especially for the fans. It's been a long time since, you know, Milan has had this kind of success. But um, for anyone who's been here since day one, uh, from my first meeting with Coach Bonke to the first practice, this was part of the expectation. This is Keith's fifth season in the EuroLeague. He's always finished in double figures in points, but never had a season like this. In the top 16, he has achieved an 18.5 points average per evening, highlighting his pure offensive talent. You know, I'm six foot three, I'm not a huge guy, so I'm having to finish over guys, you know, so much bigger than me. When we're playing, you know, I can hear the guys on the floor or I can hear the other team's coach saying, you know, no left, no left, don't let them go left. And, you know, you can plan for it, but until you're actually in front of me and you can feel, you know, what I'm about to do, you know, you never, guys aren't prepared. So there, there's a handful of guys I had trouble with, but, you know, if I can be isolated and get to my left hand, it's, it's been pretty successful for me. To be the go-to guy brings with it responsibilities and pressure. Being a scorer, it's, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like hit or miss, you know, because a lot of people, you get you get knocked for being a scorer, but at the same time, people love that you score so many points. So, uh, you know, a lot of times I hear, oh, well, all he does is score. Well, if it was that easy, then everybody would, everybody would do it. You know, I take it a challenge upon myself as I get older and uh, as I explore different parts of my game. You know, not only have I scored, but, you know, I lead my team in assists. It's another thing that's funny because a lot of people say, well, I don't play defense. Obviously, I'm not gonna be the guy that you put on the other team's main weapon, but I'm definitely not the weak link. If people who really know basketball and they look at the tape, you know, they'll see that you know, Keith Lang was an all-around player. A complete player who is motivated by a desire to match one of the absolute stars of the competition. If there's one guy that I've, I've really probably think of and, and try to, you know, I'm in direct competition with, I'll probably say Vasilis uh, Spinoulis. Whenever I'm on the floor and I'm able to play against him, um, you know, it, it raises my level. I'm checking to see what he did or, you know, comparing myself to see if I can do what he did. He's been the main reason for his team's success and I feel like I can be that kind of guy as well. Among the many features that make Keith stand out from the other champions, there is an unusual ritual. He changes shoes between the first and the second half. You know, I started back in high school, you know, was wearing these, these shoes that I always wear. I got a new pair and I didn't tell anyone, I didn't tell my mother, and uh, came out, was just playing awful, had these new shoes on. Going into halftime of the game, my mother is standing there waiting on me before I walk in the locker room and she's like, take those shoes off right now and go put them. So I take the shoes off, put on my other shoes and you know, lo and behold, have a great game, play well. And so it just, from then on out, I've always done it. A star that was a regular fan for a few weeks due to a muscle injury. 
a slightly superstitious supporter. The Fenerbahce game, I was working out late. I had missed almost the first two quarters, and I go to my phone to check <laughs> check the, the live score, and we're winning by 14, and so I'm like, all right, I'm going home, so I'm not going to watch the game because I wasn't watching and we were winning. So I'm like, okay, let me just not watch. And so I, I checked the score with about five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm good. 